You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, you guys knew I had to make a video about Team USA basketball losing to France at the Tokyo Games. Guys, I was actually driving my car and I was texting Rose. I was like, man, be on the lookout. Team USA is in a tight game with France. I believe they were up like eight points when I text him and I kept testing him. I was like, man, they're only up two. And I was like, oh, my God, they're down by two. And folks, they blew the lead. They blew the lead. And who is the coach of Team USA? That would be one Greg Popovich, five time NBA champion. I call him Greg Wokovich because it's clear that this team has other interests besides playing basketball, including Greg Wokovich. Now, folks, a member of the media, and I'm talking about a Corona bro to quote Clay Travis, Dan Woken. This loss to France made him write a piece on Greg Popovich and obliterated Greg Popovich. So let's go ahead. Let's dive into this, man, because this is a very, very bad loss. I mean, the U.S. right now, if you want to include the exhibition games, because we already know they're 0-1 in the actual games, they have lost three out of their five games. They lost to Nigeria, folks. Nigeria, and check this out, guys. Nigeria, they got blown out by Australia in the Olympics. Australia, the number 22 team in the FIBA rankings, Nigeria beat Team USA in exhibition play. This team is stat. I'm talking about Team USA. Look, you actually have Devin Booker coming off the bench for this team and you lost to France. Yes, France does have NBA players, but nowhere near close to what Team USA has. I know they have Rudy Gobert. Defensive player of the year. But other than that, man, they really can't stack up to Team USA. But Greg Popovich now, Dan Woken writes this piece, says opinion. Time to face facts. NBA coaching legend Greg Popovich stinks at Olympic basketball. <laughs> oh, boy. Greg Popovich, man, he deserves this. But Dan Walken writes here, he says, if you want to call Greg Popovich the greatest coach in NBA history, go right ahead. No, he's not the greatest coach in NBA history. No, he's not. He's up there, but he's not the best. But he says, but let's be as direct and point and to the point as Popovich usually is. He stinks at Olympic basketball. <laughs> We've seen enough to say that now, haven't we? I know I have. I mean, when you lose three out of five games with Kevin Durant. As the best player, yeah, you're not doing a very good job, Greg Wokovich. What more do we need to know? If you want to know where to put the blame for Team USA's 86-76 loss to France, America's first Olympic men's basketball loss in 6,176 days, you have to go back to 2004 in Athens, look no further than the guy with five NBA titles, who has been clueless from the moment he was given the reins to USA basketball. Clueless in what he values with his roster. Clueless with an offense that unlocks very little of what his players do well. Clueless with the expectations he took on by following Mike Krzyzewski in, his, in this adamantly thankless job. And it's the last point that hurts the most. Now, Coach K was a very, very good coach for Team USA. Redeemed team, 2008, also in 2012. Did not lose a game. They took care of business. Now you bring in Greg Wokovich, and look what happens. More concern, I believe, with other stuff off the court than actually playing basketball. Ever since those NBA players got in that bubble last year, folks, it has not been the same for the NBA and now, obviously, Team USA, I believe this team really doesn't have very much support at the Olympic Games. I really do believe that because I used to cheer for Team USA. Now, I'm not actively 
rooting against these guys. I'm not, I'm just not rooting for them. That's the first time I can ever say that in my life. At least, you know, going back to the dream team. I am not rooting for this team. I don't care. I just don't care. I'm not rooting against them. I just do not care because the NBA has ruined basketball for me. And I believe it's just poetic justice that this team is now losing games like crazy. This is what happens when you alienate half of your fan base. It says as Popovich attempted to slow off this embarrassment like it is a Wednesday night in January at Minnesota and not the Olympics. He sounded no different from every power five college football coach who tries to reassure their fan base after losing to a Matt school that, hey, those guys on scholarship, too. There's a bit difference, you know, between France and USA. If you just look, look at the rosters, who would you take? You would take Team USA and it wouldn't even be close. But Pop says this and this is actually pretty pathetic. I don't even know what this team is going to meddle. Check this out. Grant Wokovich says this, quote, when you lose a game, you're not surprised. You're disappointed. Popovich said, I don't understand the word surprise. That sort of this is the French team, so to speak, as if we are supposed to beat them by 30 or something. That's a hell of a team. They have NBA players, other talented players playing in Europe who've been together for a long time. I think it's a little bit of of hubris if you think the Americans are supposed to just roll out the ball and win. You have to work for it. And for those 40 minutes, they played better than we did. Well, Greg Popovich, guess what? You're coaching this team, man. You are coaching this team. I'm not trying to diss the French team, but the French team has no business beating Team USA. They have no business doing it. And guys, the Team USA blew a lead. That was actually 11, I believe, 11 0 run at the end of the game. Team USA was up by pretty comfortable with like three minutes left, and then they collapse. Damian Little gets the ball, falls down. Greg Popovich, you said you're not surprised? You're not, su- we're surprised. We should be surprised. But now going forward, now I'm not going to be surprised. Of any loss that Team USA actually has. Not me. Not me. And he goes on here. He talks about how France does have NBA level players. And they do. But like I said. They're not on the level of Team USA. They're just not. See this is the kind of thing that happens folks. When you have other interests. Outside of basketball. And now even a Corona bro. Like Dan Woken is coming after Greg Popovich, one of the wokest coaches in the NBA, along with Steve Kerr. Team USA is getting what they deserve, folks. They are. Will they medal? I don't really know. I, re- I really don't know. And I'm not even going to be watching the games. And according to the ratings, hardly anybody on an Olympic level is watching these games because these ratings are trash. Absolute trash. I mean, I found out that Team USA was was playing this morning and they were up by a little bit, a little bit at the half. I believe they were actually leading the game for the for the most part. But yet again, just like they did against Australia, they blew a lead. I believe they lost to Australia in that exhibition game by by eight points. They were up by 10, 18 point swing in this game. I know they were up by at least eight. And guess what? They lost by what? Seven. This team can't close games. Maybe just maybe they need better coaching. And Dan Woken is just calling it out. Greg Popovich stinks at coaching Olympic basketball. And actually, tell you the truth, guys, ever since Tim Duncan retired, what has Pop really done? Not too much. Not too much. He's not looking too good coaching in the NBA. And right now he is failing. With a team full of all-stars. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. 
be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.